Hi, we are here to discuss in math what are the important mathematic topics, math topics, and the strategy involved in solving the paper. Okay, let's try to understand this. Thirty-six questions in fifty-two minutes is what the NMAT con paper is. The normal breakup is that twenty mathematics question, four DS question, and twelve BI question. So broadly speaking, three type of questions. You need to know what is the average time you take per section. So for max per question, how much time you take? For DS question, how much time you take? For BI question, how much time you take? Okay, and ensure that they add up to less than fifty-two minutes, which is your total time should not exceed fifty-two minutes. It can be less than fifty-two, fifty-one. So you have fair idea how much time you take per type of question. So when you're solving in the examination. You need to have fair idea that okay, in 18 questions I should finish maybe before 26 minutes. So that means you know you're on track. Or maybe if you want to further divide, you can say nine questions maybe in 13 minutes. So if you're not at nine questions when 13 minutes are up, which means you're behind schedule. So you need to solve a little faster. Or maybe skip a couple of difficult questions and then go ahead. That's how you go. I mean, ensure that you look at all 32 questions during the 52 minutes. In the end, if you want to mark the answer which you have not solved, you can't come back. Remember, so when you're solving, you need to solve each and every question. So, check out every 13 minutes, are you at a nine question? 26 minutes, are you at 18 question ahead? And check that out. Keep a track of it. If you're not, then learn to leave difficult questions. So, if you come across a question which is a little longer, it takes time to take, skip that question because you know you're already behind schedule. You need to catch up. Okay, it's very important to know which questions to skip so that you are able to solve the remaining questions. That's how it works. If you try to solve all questions and if you try to waste time in difficult questions, what will happen is you will not be able to complete the paper properly, and the marks that you get will be lesser than your potential. The strategy is very important to know how you pace yourself during the entire paper. As far as the topics are concerned, the two major topics in what is called CAT. Times of distance and geometry are not there as far as uh, and math is concerned. So no geometry, no. The main topics which are there is this. You can focus on these topics as far as possible. Number system, average, logs. Normally you have one question which is there. Percentage specifically with respect to discount questions are there. Ratio partnership, work pipes, equation inequalities, progression. Specifically, harmonic progression too, because that is not in CAT, but it comes in NMAT. The simple harmonic progression, not any complicated one. Probability, permutation, combination. So these are major topics that you need to focus on. Okay, there are quite a few questions on probability and permutation, combination. And mark it as important because you need to be comfortable with it. Similarly, you need to know be comfortable with number system also, the basic factors, unit digit, etc. So these are two areas which are important more than the others. But you need to know all these topics so that you're comfortable with all the topics that come in the NMAT examination, right? You need not go into topics which are beyond this. So as I said, functions, higher-level functions, or trigonometry or geometry, need not study at all. Just focus on these topics, and that is what will come as far as the exam is concerned, right? I hope that helps. Thank you.